Hey all, welcome to Bolivia. Just when you thought the roads couldn't get any worse. So, updates. <laughs> right now we're in the southwest, um, southwest uh, region of Bolivia. It's the most desolate, uh, isolated place in Bolivia. It's very, very harsh conditions. It's very high, we're at 4,000. 500 meters, hence the lack of breath as always. Um, yeah, the roads here have been absolutely shocking, the worst I've ever ridden on in my life. Um, we're right now, uh, we've camped just behind us and I'll show you the town when I can get a sec. It's a, there's no electricity. Um, yeah, at night it's absolutely freezing. The, the bike was covered in ice this morning um, and it's summer here. <laughs> So we're very high. Oh, these fucking roads. So now we're heading further north towards uh, Sucre. Uh, so, the crossing um, from Chile into Bolivia that I used was, it's called Laguna, Laguna Pass. Well, that's what the tourists call it because there's a lot of la uh, lagoons. Uh, along the way, and it's a, it's a national park in Bolivia. Uh, no, it's just all four-wheel drives, like Bolivian land cruisers that they use to take people from San Pedro in Atacama, uh, in Chile, uh, to the Uyuni Salt uh, Lakes in Bolivia. It's like a four-day trip. Um, a bit strange for me because it's, it's all run out of Chile, and they have to go through the border and line up for hours. I'm like, if, to me, it's kind of like if you want to go see the salt flakes, why don't you just go and visit Bolivia? It's a bit strange. Um, so yeah, but this this uh, lagoon up ahead that you might see is famous for flamingos, and it is quite strange because there's no life here at all. Look at the scenery here; it's like you're on another planet. <laughs> Um, nothing lives here except for the biggest flamingos in the world and the standard llamas, bacunas, um, all that kind of stuff. So the people that live in that town, I mean, I don't know why they live there. <laughs> it's crazy. It's so cold. Um, but yeah, the hostel was... It, it, it was a mud room, so the mud's really warm in the sun, but then obviously that wears off by midnight. Uh, but they give you like a concrete layer of blankets, because <laughs> obviously it's freezing. Um, but again, like, like a desert, once the sun comes out in the morning, uh, the sun really, really warms you up pretty quickly. So, um, But the wind chill here is probably zero. As you can see, like the crossings, little stream crossings are frozen over from last night. Hey guys, so yeah, we're closer to the lake now. The town's back over there. You can't even see it anymore. Uh, it's hidden behind gravel. But how cool is this? So this is the Lake Colorado. Uh, there's like a icebergy glacier thing in the middle. But you won't see them, but there are thousands of flamingos um, just hanging out. 4,400 meters just hanging out. Uh, there's very little life here, very other birds, it's just so strange they decide to pick this lake. Um, dang it, it's the rarest type of flamingo, I think there's like three types. Um, I saw that in a brochure at the border. So, yeah, so there's a lookout up here where you could probably get some good snaps of them, but I'd say, to be honest, the flamingos probably don't hang around where all the people are. Um, so, I'm hoping to ride in a little bit this way and come down to where this oh there's thousands of them uh so yeah let's go check it out 
Hey guys, so we're closer to the lookout now. Um, it's actually a better angle because of the colour of the flamingos are now on the backdrop of the, not the water, but more the brown um, colour of the mountain. So, so yeah, so we should be able to get some pretty good snaps uh, of the little guys. As you can see, the roads here is a little bit like driving on another planet. So yeah, as I said, it's all four wheel drives here. Um, and they must load it up with seven seats just to bring the tourists, mostly from San Pedro and Chile. Uh, Great roads. So before the battery goes flat, let me show you the flamingos. Wow, so cool. 